I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my report for you, Aries, for the week of September 05, the 5th. So it was a pretty intense week this week, or last week, whenever you're watching this, with uh, Mercury retrograde and the solar eclipse, and there's still uh, quite a bit of energy placement activity in the same area of your chart, which is the solar six house. So it's a good time just to get organized and to think about you know your game plan going forward also a great time to focus on you more uh, and in particular your health and well-being uh, make sure you're doing the right thing for yourself because you know when you get busy um, and particularly if there's stuff going on in your work uh, um, area at the moment then you, you know <laughs> your own needs can fall to the bottom of the list okay and that's what we don't want, want to do so mercury is still retrograde um, that there is going to be uh, um, a little bit of movement this week that you you know think so like there's great things happening but there's also pullback with mercury retrograde uh, and it does give you time to sort of think things through and get some clarity so uh, you know even though mercury retrograde is not one of my most favorite transit it certainly has its purposes and its benefits now the big thing that's happening this week is that Jupiter is on the move it's going to move into your area of relationship Okay, so over this next 12 months, it's a time where you can really either enhance the relationship you're in, um, mend some fences, or um, meet somebody new. So all of the above. Um, but, it, you know, as always with Jupiter, you want to sort of put out what you want uh, rather than in terms of what you don't want, thinking the positive and... Um, you know, be optimistic about life. It's like what you project out is what you can, you know, attract back in. So you want to be, you know, really sort of mindful of that during this time. Um, there are two uh, um, aspects with Pluto uh, this week as well. And Pluto sits in your area of career. And work and business and the first one right at the in the middle of the week is with the Sun very good for productivity um, very good for clearing out some cobwebs you know re some you know really when you think about it a lot of changes in our life happen just simply from changing our attitude and that can happen this um, week with the influence of Pluto and right at the end of the week there's a square with Pluto and uh, Venus and Venus is in your area of relationships so this can be a little bit confronting with the square but once again it does help you to um, have a change of attitude and open up to the great energy of um, uh, Jupiter moving into this area of your chart so uh, let's you know let's see what happens there's um, you know some good aspects and some challenging aspects so it's certainly a lot of support and challenge going on uh, in your chart and a chance to sort of let go of the past as well so you want to you want to be mindful of that because when we let go of things it creates that space and void within soon as there's a void then the universe comes in and fills that void so um, you know that's a very very positive there's quite a few squares with the moon a series every week so that um, you know it helps you once again to get in touch with your emotional side uh, all right all right so have a great week I hope something uncovers for you particularly with the way that you feel about things getting clarity about what you want to do in life I think is half the battle uh, love and luck to you I'm Jennifer Angel thanks for watching